All right. So we've got a one eighth teaspoon, which kind of looks like this. It's a small little teaspoon, right? Has a handle, but it's one eighth. And then um, we're trying to make up for not having a three quarter teaspoon, which looks bigger. Three quarters is bigger than an eighth, right? And the question is, so we don't have our three quarters, but how many one eighths do we need to make up three quarters, right? In other words, how many one eighth uh, teaspoons will add up to or make um, a three quarter uh, teaspoon, right? Ah. So that's the question, right? So, um, well, I'm just going to do something crazy. I'm just going to say, well, in other words, if I have an eighth and then another eighth and another eighth and another eighth, how many of these eighths do I need to get to three quarters? That's the question, isn't it, really? Right? Right? So, um, I guess we'll figure it out with division first and then we'll we'll go back and just try to figure it out with adding or something. So um, how many of this is contained in this? How many eighths are contained in three quarters? The division looks like this. Three quarters divided by one eighth, right? Because that's saying how many eighths are contained in three quarters, right? All right, and what do you get on that? Take your time. Three over two times what? Three over four, sorry, times. Yeah, and now do we multiply to get 24 over four or is there an easier way or what? Yep, yep, and that gives us what? Yep, which is? All right. So, we got six. What does that mean in real life? Six what teaspoons? Six is the question was how many one eighth teaspoons will we need to get to three quarters of a teaspoon, right? So it's going to be you got it six one eighth teaspoons, six one eighth sized um, teaspoons uh, make a three quarter teaspoon, right? Now, and if we look at it, one eighth, an eighth, an eighth, an eighth, an eighth, and another eighth, that's six of them. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, right? And if I add up all these six eighths, what do we get? One eighth, well, it's one eighth plus one eighth. All these eighths added up gives what? Six eighths, yeah? And if you simplify six eighths as a fraction, what do you get? Two into six goes what? There you go. You get three quarters, and that makes sense, doesn't it? Because that's our three quarter teaspoon, right? Okay.